Tuesday the 14th of December. Yes. yes. 14th of December and yes, green t-shirts. Well, Here's the corner we put up yesterday. Beautiful English bond. Oh no. You don't carry them that way. At least it's grey, it looks like a face. It's like a face, doesn't it? Big lips, eyes. There we go. Dad's side's more or less loaded out for a bit. There he is. So um, we're just gonna get more, some more brick. K106, the installation is the block work. The blocks are actually not our whiten blocks that we normally use. Uh, they're like a thermite or something. I said they'll do it. They might be nicer. I said, as long as, uh, yeah, they're a small lot, you know, they're not like the length of the white ones or a normal No, that'd be size. nicer, they will. I said, um, uh, uh, as long as it's seven newtons, yeah. Yeah, so, so that's good. That's good news. Uh, yeah, it's a really good news. And they're going to do the delivery today. It's the YouTube police coming to arrest us for having copyrighted music. Yeah, for having music on the video. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, handrail all the way down, as you can see, fit on the back end. Because you've got to do it course for course with the headers going through. See headers. We've got 10 courses to go, which is probably about a thousand brick. There we go, 16, 16 copings down. All done by this gentleman here. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's all we can do at the moment. We're, like I said earlier, we're on standby for the other 30, I think, 28. We're gonna get this down so we can get set up. Uh, with, the, with the extension, I mean. Get all the, get back filling, all that fun stuff, all that done, so. And if, I'll just take you over here as well, you can just see Tony and Liam set up a nice tent for our bricks. Keep going. Where, what, what do the viewers have to do? Send us money. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Ding! Yep. It's always helpful. Big help for the channel, big help for us. And subscribe to Dave Vaney as well if you haven't already. Of course, build to the a &E. like, comment, subscribe, them and us, it's always helpful. It's a big help for the channel and for us, so we appreciate it. So let's get this trapping, the G-Deck down. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Tony and Steve and Alex. Um, absolutely brilliant. What we're going to do is show you how quickly this G-Deck can come down. We'll time ourselves on how long it takes to take down. We've got all this to take down and normally scaffold and planks and trestles. How long is great, Steve? Yeah, half an hour, four minutes. Now, Steve's done a timer, so you've got a timer again. There you go, guys. So what we're going to do is you're going to press the timer I'm going to put you by the mixer and then boom, we're going to be away. Uh, 
Thank you, Cardinal Chief Park. Watch out for that foot there. Yeah, Thanks, mate. Looks like. There's a rogue pin somewhere. There's the pin. Nine minutes, 28 seconds. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Smashed it. Sand arrived, nice tum bag of sand. There's the tum bag, so we've uh, buried it all in to here. And, uh, but we've got um, a bag of snowcrete, some white cement. So um, we're going to use that to give a tester to see if that'll be good for the extension. So we're going to do a sample of that tomorrow. Right, there's our corner started. That's DPC level now, so we can't put, put the full corner up. So we're going to get a string line up now and get these two courses running, get this bond set out. Let's just take your time and get, the, get it right, because it's got to look like that. So what we're going to do is just keep it stretch a header, so Flemish bond plinth, and then back to English bond for the rest of the build. So that's it. Let's get cracking. Right, we've got the mix from the boards. Alex is already steaming off the head. He's getting the uh, splits in now, so I'm gonna go grab that one. Then we'll uh, get cracking and getting this set out now. Tom's getting our best angles as always. This might be a very short talk because it's 12%. Let's see what happens. Yeah, underneath the Tony tent. I just need an extension today. Anyway, we've got the first two, is it two courses? No, one course. One course in the corner. Uh, what day is it? Thursday? Thursday the 8th. Eight, the 9th. 9th of December. So we now have a fully roofed in extension, three Tony tents and a shelter knocked up by Ollie and Will. So we are completely weatherproof inside now. So hopefully we're going to crack on with this today. Established the &E Christmas market now. Oh yeah, we had a reset day yesterday. Everything was just cleared out. Uh, we've got the trestles in the planks in uh, Alex calls it our Christmas market so everything's l stacked up at waist level now and then we've just got to oh yeah as you can see where the ground was that's all been dug out the drains have been brought through I think about we moved out six seven tonne of stone didn't we easily yeah yeah a pipe bedding uh, MOT the drains are brought up there's a manhole here there's another two tonne coming today to catch all this water is there mm -hmm. all right uh, so basically 
you've got this. The little road for the tack barrow, which is also doubles up as a nice level base for us. And we've got, got the scaff mat through the front now. As you can remember, this was like the moon. And we had this big, horrible concrete foundation here. That took some getting out, but we nailed it. So, um, yeah, we're all set. We just need to get the bond right on these pillars now. And then we can crack on. There's Liam. Yeah, so once these boys moved all this shite, this is all going around the front on the tap barrows. Then we can set our trestles back up and crack on. And quick reset. You've got solid wall, pillar, door, pillar, door, pillar, door, pillar. And then solid brickwork all the way across. So, yeah, that's us for today. Let's um, get back to when we've got some daylight and we've sorted out these pillar bonds. Basically, we're trying to faff about with the bond on the pillars. So Tony said, listen, come inside. I want to want to draw it so we can I can visualise it. So, this is our left-hand pillar at the front corner, which is over there. This is our centre pillar. I keep, I keep saying centre pillar, our two... What, one of the two centre pillars? Yeah, there's, two, there's three doors, two pillars. So, we couldn't get the bond to work. We've got, this is the stretcher course, three-quarter, stretcher, three-quarter. This course got a vent in it, but forget that. So we can't, we, we can't do anything about this course? No, that cannot be moved, that vent's got to go there. Can't have the vent over here. So, we couldn't decide how to get the, the plinth sorted. Because the plinth, put a half on the plinth, you've got a header above, straight joints. Put a three quarter on the plinth, straight joint below. So what I suggested was, bend the rules a bit and put a closure at each end. Which basically, it'll be closure, closure and two full brick or whatever it works could be slightly smaller but then you've got your you've got your quarter you've got a half bond there and then you've got your quarter bond back and then again you've got your three quarter there full three quarter and that's the way our pillars are going to work so we won't have closures in the pillars because they're too small we'll have the three quarters in the stretches instead you've got three quarter stretcher three quarter full coarser headers Three quarter stretcher, three quarter. So it's all cuts. All the headers have got to be cut. All the, all the three quarters have got to be cut. So basically, every two courses we have one full brick. So basically, it's all about preparation and making it right yeah. instead of just winging it and hoping it works at the end. Let's spend a bit of time setting out now instead of having to take it all down later. Yeah, I'm sure the majority will agree that looks the best. It's literally our only option. Yeah. We spent a few days doing this, yeah. so it's not only obviously it. Cool. Boom. And this insulation's got to drop down with 10 mil, 10 mil gap, so it's just going to run the stilly along here, get a nice clean cut edge. for the closures on the ends with the two full brick in the middle now that's going to be stretches above that so it's going to be three quarter full three quarter so quarter bond carries on same there identical pillar and I've raked out around the for the vents to go in when we get them which are going to be reclaimed vents as we've mentioned before and there's our fourth vent and our original pillar but like as we said it's got to work brick up there in this parapet so um, that's the reason behind all that. It's been a lot of hard work. There's our, sta our gauge staff now. We've actually fixed it in place with a couple of screws on the Tony tent. So now we can gauge off that for our tie wires and our cuts. It's working in a 170 cut at the moment. Good morning, good morning. Happy Friday. 
As you can tell, we are bloody full steam ahead this morning. We've got Dad and Al there with the barra. We've got all the other lads moving the doors. Dad's got his mask on, he's ready to do his mix. I thought I'd show you quick that we've got, we've got our vertical damp in as well. That goes all the way down into here, connected with this one. So the vertical's in and we've got our, we've got our wall ties in. We plumb them up, screw them in, and then you get your uh, the tire part, fold this bit back, and simply, that's it. I've never used these before, so it's quite a, uh, quite a new experience. We've had a lot of uh, new experiences doing, doing a lot of the work here, which is great. Uh, and here, as you can see, we've got our cavity tray. For the vents underneath, we are using this stuff very um it's very solid stuff very tough so obviously with this there's no giving it so i've got to make sure everything is perfect so these fit in and um obviously because of the size we cut down we cut down our blocks to a 170 so it works a block in the 170 cut and then um, that works out just a little bit needs trimming off which um, Tony and the boys have kindly done a good portion of them for us already so we'll get more of them cut when we need them we're rocking the blue circle products so that is what we're using for our mixes now that's what made all the difference between that and that at the top the snowcrete no, again another thing we've never used before snowcrete which it's pretty damn good stuff it just it does a really good job and it's just really nice to work with. And another first for us as well, Blue Circle again, thank you very much. We're using lime, lime water, which I'm sure we've talked about before, but I just wanted to elaborate a bit more in detail that we're doing lime and snow cream mixes. Five sand, one lime, one cement. But um, yeah, there's the products. There's the installation. There's the crew. Let's get cracking. Getting jointed up, getting all sorted. Got to be jointed up and fully brushed off. Yeah. The so the insulation fits in, yeah. Tom's getting our best sides again. <laughs> and there's our face side. Alex and Dad have just been pointing it up. While but there's just a quick uh, video update while uh, while you've been on time lapse most of the morning. So I think we'll uh, we'll catch you after break time then. Here we go, fresh blocks. I'm gonna get these loaded out now. Get these sent over to the uh, to the back now.
there we go. Up to the uh, half finished height for now. Doesn't half look nice. Alex has uh, moved all the trestles and the boards and he's doing a quick sweep up. Go down the back of the level, mate. Go down the back of the level, see how old the bottom is. Flush up. Can't get better than that, can you? Looks flipping marvellous. So there's Dad's bit with the corner, and then there's mine and Alex's bit, and even the, the blended block look really nice. The cuts and the regulars look really marvellous. So, yeah, just there. <laughs> Let the uh, tab arrow go past. Plan now is, we're going to let this go off till Monday. Then Monday we're going to uh, pop the insulation around the back and maybe start some brickwork. For now, for the rest of our day, we're on this side. So, we're in the air, uh, we're in the proper makeshift uh, tent at the moment. And Dad's got to start with the headers. Then we're just going to try and run in, get up to clean the plate, and then maybe set some more block. Yeah, it is a good thing to look at as well. I think you remember the big mud pile this was. Look at it now. That was our big pile of uh, waste that we just throw all our crap on. Now it's uh, stinky. So uh, in this week the site's really come along outside at least anyway. Got a nice nice bit of wall up. The, uh, the yard's been done up nicely. We've got a uh, we've got a whole a proper setup now. It's looking good this week. So uh, let's end it off with a bank, shall we, and keep uh, keep this street keep this momentum going.
and good morning on this wonderful Monday morning. And uh, you would not think it's uh, December. I'm in me short sleeves today, showing off the, uh, the proper shirt. As is Dad over there. But I just thought um, I just threw just threw the uh, time lapse on Alex this morning while uh, he's been doing all this, and I'll show you in detail what he's been doing. So. Like I said in the previous segment, uh, all these needed cutting down, which um, Al's done a bit of cutting today, and Ollie's been doing the the bulk of the cutting for us, so big thanks to Ollie for that. And so he's been, Al's been slotting the insulation in, so so it fits nicely. And um, he's been taping it up and adding what I what we used to call in college the UFOs. So this is all ready for the brickwork now. I think after break he's just going to get this last bit of the corner done and get that squared off and then like I say this will be ready for brickwork and while he's been doing that we've just been over on the corner dad's been getting the end pillar set up ready so we're just going to keep gradually go up as much as we can And there we go, that's what Dad's been up to today. He's got the uh, far right pillar up to uh, course 15. And uh, as you can see, obviously an English bond, but he... <laughs> Pretty big corner, yeah. Um, Dad, do you need, where are you leaving out your profile holes? I'll decide later. Right, okay. So that's to be decided where the profile holes are going, so. Lovely looking bond. And with this mortar and the brick tap pairing, it just really oh, makes it stand out and look lovely. So, the plan for the rest of the day for Dad is him and Alex are gonna get a corner built on the far left pillar, where our, um, where our block work is up. And as you saw this morning, Alex got all the insulation put around. So, plan is to get a corner up there so that tomorrow we can string some profiles up and get cracking at the, uh, the other two pillars. That's the plan, isn't it, Dad? Yes. Just got our, got our muck ready. I'm just going to keep doddling along getting stuff, other stuff done. But, uh, yeah. I'll uh, throw the camera over there now. You see, you can watch it from the ground up. Tom's arrived to get our best angles again. <laughs> so Tom's arrived to get our best angles again. 
But uh, yeah, let's uh, bring you over here. Distractions of home. Yeah, different in it, exactly. Two minutes. Tuesday the 14th of December, yes, yes. 14th of December and yes, green t-shirts, well, yeah, we're, we're actually on with the face work now, you can see the corner going up there, Alex is chasing the bun through that side into that corner and then there's where the full bricks to that it's going to be cut, cut down to three quarters, that bond works lovely over there. There's our pillar set out, Here's this side we did yesterday. That's this side is where we're using all the rubbish brick. Here's the corner we put up yesterday. Beautiful English bond. Onto the plinth. This plinth. Obviously, a vent to go in there. That's it. Alex is uh, just on the block work now. Backing it up. We're just getting set up now. We put the damp down. The two foot damp. I'm just tracing the bond through. Alex is going to put a little corner up here. I'm going to put a little corner up there and then once this block works up and this two here we can we can string a line up and get these pillars get the block work up on these pillars but we'll have to make sure we prop it because it's only going to be a block and a half on each pillar going up so uh, yeah that'll be propped Again, while uh, 
while the rest of it's getting set up, I thought I'd give you a quick update of what we're doing and a quick catch up we have been doing. So yesterday I got this uh, block, block wall up on the other side. There's what we did the other day. Here's what we did now. So we've got that up to G deck height. It's one course lower than that stuff just because so we can still reach the brickwork because it's because uh, there's a big wall in the way and we have to work overhand. It's going to be brickwork first, then the block work. So that's all ready for G deck. Um, while I was doing that, Dad and Al have been crack, crack. blasting in this side. Done a very nice job of it too. So what we've been doing this morning is we've been getting loads of bricks rounded up. Load of half right. <laughs> what the hell? And we've been uh, been cutting away with the with the BT cutter. Good morning. Let's try that again. <laughs> and good morning on this bloody wonderful mor mo uh, oh. What the fuck? <laughs> 